Hey guys, what's up? Pitmar Thor here, and welcome back to Let's Play a Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Last episode, we went through the only desert map in this game, thank goodness. And now we get to hear this very awesome music. I'm gonna be quiet for a second so you can hear this. That is probably the best song in the game right there. It's called Power Hungry Fool. It's actually in a Super Smash Bros. Brawl. If you choose that Castle Siege, you can hear this song. It's essentially Oliver's theme here. But anyway, in this episode, we are going to be cha tackling Chapter 16, which is known as The Atonement. And then Oliver says, The fortune I paid the Raven King seems like a pittance compared to this treasure. Masala sold me to you? And he hits him in the nose. That's pretty awesome. Especially since herons are supposed to be a really, really delicate. And now, the story is going to explain this also in the sequel as well, but the reason that Rayson isn't as delicate as any other herons that we'll be encountering throughout this game in the sequel is the fact that he has been essentially raised by the Hawk King. So, you know, when you're raised by somebody, you tend to pick up their mannerisms, so that's why he's a little bit less delicate. And right there, he just said they're delicate things. So now, back at the Emmanuel Cathedral with Sanaki and Ike. Ike has brought Tormod to see Sanaki. And this is nothing that we don't already know about how... Hmm? You want to suppose the depravity of the inner circles of power, but you don't want the general public to know that the majority of the Senate is involved in the slavery. And that is exactly right. So the Apostle already knew about the Lagoo slavery, and she's trying to do something about it. But, if she sends somebody as important as the Holy Guard to take care of the problem, obviously there's going to be quite a bit of rumor spreading around. If she just sends basic mercenaries, nobody's going to think about it. So she's received reports that Oliver, Duke of Tannis, is up to something suspicious. And we're going to go there and try to find proof of whatever he is doing. In the last battle, our MVP was Soren, not a surprise at all, because I said Soren was great for that. No deaths and no injuries, of course. Well, actually, there were injuries, but, you know, nothing that the power of the healing staffs can't fix. So first we have Miriam right here. Oh, but she's even shorter than I am. Throughout this game, if you actually kind of watch Tormod's storyline, even though he doesn't have much, Tormod is constantly either made fun of for being short, or he talks about himself being short. And this includes in the sequel, when he comes back, he's pretty much as short as he is now. Even though in his picture, Ike is just barely taller than he is, but, you know. And since Miriam was once a slave, that's why he knows about the, uh, etiquette of royalty. If we were unlucky, you got killed, obviously. Exactly, Ike. I think I've already gone over this, but th that is actually the one thing that King Ashnard 
does do that's actually makes more sense than the good guy's side is because King Ashnard, if he sees somebody skill and they're good, you know, like sword fighting or whatever, he will put them in a position of power regardless of if they're, you know, poor or rich. Alright, and next we have Stefan. Three stars, which means we'll be getting something here. He joined after the battle in the desert. And this guy's pretty dang awesome. It's getting hand of fates, let me tell you. So, in the desert I watch the dance of your sword. You have a unique style, but it is incomplete, filled with hes hesitation. You've recently lost your teacher. Likely your foundation is quite strong, which is why I can be of service. Your technique, how powerful it will be when perfected, I would like to know. You can learn the distance, or you can learn the... Where'd I get distance from? You can learn the dance of blades from me without knowing my history, can you not? Let's see, you let your heart decide, and you can choose to study or don't study. Obviously, here you want to choose study. I've never chosen don't study, but study is always worth the item you get, so... Whenever you choose to study, you get an occult scroll, which is very nice indeed. And I don't know how many of those that gives us... Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw that in the convoy real quick. Okay, so we have two occult scrolls, so we have one to use on somebody else if we need to. That's good. Uh, let's give these to the convoy, these to the convoy. And then we'll give the guard away, too. We don't need him using that. Go ahead and give the statue fragment. And we'll go ahead and use the statue fragment. Okay, so let's go over the new units we have, I guess, right off the bat. is First off, we have Stefan. He is a level 8 swordmaster. Uh, so obviously he specializes in swords, and it is a upgraded Myrmidon, that's essentially what he is. Um, he is definitely a good unit to keep, he has very high speed, but would we'll definitely cap it out. Has very high skill, we'll definitely cap that out as well. Has pretty good strength, uh, the defense from his weapon, the Vaikati, gives him another plus three on there. The only thing really bad about Stefan is his luck is always really, really low, but for the most part, since luck's not too big of a stat to be lacking on, it's not that big of a deal, and I will be using Stefan. So, really, he's really good because he'll dodge a lot of attacks, but if he does get hit, you do need to heal him up, so. Another thing, with his sword, the Vaikati, do not use this sword. Throw it in the convoy and give him other swords. He'll be just fine with them, but the Vaikati is a very, very, very good sword with a very high critical rate as well, and so you want to be saving this for, like, the very end game. You do not want to be using this right off the bat. I can guarantee you don't want to use it right now. Next, we have Tormod, which is a level 7 fire mage. You can obviously, I believe, use, yeah, all the other ones. Um, really, he's not that great. The only thing that really works for him is the fact that he has Celerity, which can increase his movement by two. Um, that's a very helpful skill to have, especially in the sequel where you can take off skills and give them to somebody else if you want to. Uh, but he is really, at this point, not worth your time. I've never used him, not even on an easy playthrough. I've not even tried before, because, like, a level 7 mage? I mean, come on. Soren should be way past that by now. Seriously. He's just not worth it, in my opinion. And lastly, we have Miriam, which is a level 9 tiger, so I guess if you're a fan of Mordecai and you want another tiger, then you could use uh, Miriam if you want to. I would not give him the demi-band, I would take that off and just let him transform and untransform normally, because the demi-band is nice, but at level 9, you probably don't want to have it around, especially since it negates both speed and defense, even though it's only by 1, that's still, you know, enough. So, in my opinion, Miriam is not really that much worth it either. I'm sure if he got, uh, if he showed up a little bit earlier, I'd probably have a little bit of a different opinion of him, but for the most part, I don't find him worth it. And I especially don't find him worth it in the sequel this game, but we'll talk about that whenever I do the Let's Play for that. So, let's go ahead and give both of those Fire and Elf Fires up to the Convoy. And we'll go ahead and give the Vicotti to the Convoy, and we will give him... A both the steel swords and the long sword, and we'll also give him two vulneraries. A lot to do. Uh, something worth noting is Stefan comes with Astra, by the way, which um, I don't know if I've gone over Astra yet. So what this does is it will actually allow you to attack five times in one go, but it's at half damage. However, that would mean one attack is essentially 2.5 times stronger than any of um, 
any regular attack. And also, Astra has a pretty good chance of getting criticals within the Astra itself as well. It can miss within the Astra, but, you know, still. Definitely a very good skill to have. And since you don't have to waste an occult scroll on it, that's also very nice. Let's see. I think that is it, except for the uh, other items, which would be the boots. Um, the boots are kind of strange, because what they do is they increase your movement by two, kind of like Celerity did. And I'm not really sure at this point who to give it to. I typically give it to either Soren or Rolf. But I think I'm going to go with Soren because that's what I usually do. Um, I wouldn't recommend giving it to Ike, because after this chapter and the next one is over, he will get his class change, and so he'll get more movement by then. So I would not recommend it, giving it to Ike. Definitely not to Leith or any horseback units like Oscar. Mist will get a horse later on, so don't give it to her either. So I would recommend Soren or Rolf. And, yeah, any unit like that. Maybe a slower unit, so probably an archer or a sage. Uh, I'm going to give it to Soren, though. So let's go over to skills. Oh, wait, I, can't, uh, I cannot put that on there. But it's the boots, so... Uh, who has them right now? I don't think anybody does. I think they're in the convoy. Yep. I'm going to use that, and increase his movement to 8. Because, I mean, even though he's already classed up, his movement's only 6, so he's not going to get more movement. The only time you'll get extra movement is when you class up or use an item such as the boots, so... Now I'm going to ward some more EXP. I'm going to try to get Rolf up to being pretty close to a sniper, because once he gets to a sniper, he's virtually unbeatable. And I'd really like for him to be an archer, because I could also equip an occult scroll and give him his skill, Deadeye. Which it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it this time, but I probably will in the next uh, two or three levels. He'll probably class up within the next chapter. That's just a guess, though. And I'll give the rest of it to Mist. What little's left, anyway. As for skills, uh... Leith can learn, a uh, Roar, but I don't really care about that. I guess I could give her Guard. Uh... What's Oscar's defense? 16. Leith is 11. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give it to, uh, Leith. What Guard does is just nullifies one enemy attack in certain conditions. It's not great, but hey, you know. Because it doesn't seem to activate a lot. I mean, if it, you know, nullified it really often, it'd be a great skill to have. But it just doesn't activate very often. And that's really the only downside to it, though. The other two things we have are occult scrolls. Um, Boyd could learn Colossus, but I don't have enough uh, room for that. What does Colossus take? 20? If I took off that, he would have 15. Uh, in theory, I could take off it, but it take it off, but it's not that big a deal, so I'm not going to deal with it. Uh, I do still have the both the occult scrolls, right? I don't want to lose it because I do need Ike to learn his uh, move, so... Yeah, I still have both occult scrolls, so what I'm actually going to do is teach Oscar his uh, skill, which is a very good one indeed, and that is Soul, which and sometimes whenever you attack the enemy, you'll get a little yellow ring around you, and whatever damage you do to the enemy, you can actually get that back in health. So it's essentially like a free heal if it activates at the right time, so it's a very good skill to have. I'd recommend putting this on Oscar or Titania or any other paladin you have for that matter, except for Mist, because she will get swords once she classes out, but honestly, not worth it at all. Because she has absolutely no strength. I mean, five, that's really not good at all. I mean, I know Soren's got two, but he uses, you know, in this case, stabs and wind magic, so it's not that big a deal for him. And lastly, we're going to go to the shop and sell that white gem, and also the... Didn't I have something else I wanted to sell? Oh, the coin. The coins, I should say. Alright, you can't even sell the occult scroll, so you don't have to worry about that happening accidentally. Uh, that's all what I expected. I'd like to give an iron blade to Stefan, just so he has one more weapon, just in case. Uh, does anybody need a ranged weapon? Let me just check really quickly. Does not appear to be so. Everybody looks all set. Oh, there's a steel blade down here. I'm going to go ahead and stock up on these real quick and send two of them to the convoy. Uh, fire, I'll fire, wind, thunder, light, shine. Ugh. Wow, that's really bad for spells, but I will. I'm aware that uh, if you class up Rise, you can get a uh, light magic, and he's the only light magic user in the game you can get other than unlocking a character for the trial maps. 
but compared to using Rise and Mist, I've used Rise four times, and I've used Mist about five or six, and every time I've used Rise instead of Mist, it, it just never turned out as good, especially during a one fight in particular at chapter 26 or 7, I believe, so let's go ahead and get started here, now that we're 15 minutes in. Looks like we're gonna have a few of the people uh sneak off and see if they can figure out anything while we ask Oliver himself, which obviously wouldn't work, but you know, create a diversion essentially. I've shown you every nook of my match and every cranny. I've been most thorough. You saw no trace or sound of Lagoos. Okay, that's weird. Now what? I saw someone with the bird trap. He looked like he was trying to jump out a window, but he's first away from it and back into the room. Had long hair like gold, and his skin was almost translucent white, and his wings they were pure white, so that's obviously a heron. The only heron that we know. And then immediately he goes, guards, kill them all, don't let a single one escape. That don't let, let a single one escape is like the funniest thing I've ever heard in the sequel. And I'll, and I'll be sure to show it off whenever it happens, because it's freaking hilarious to me. But alright, let's do some fighting here. Oh, there's quite a few mages, but nothing we can't handle. The Dukedom of Tannis. The Dukedom. That just sounds stupid. And we have Dead Ven. Dead Ven, here's the sound of battle. I don't know why he talks to himself in third person, but whatever. Alright, let's see here. Don't want these two. You are gonna need a thief here, so make sure you grab one with you. Uh, we're gonna take Soth, that's fine. Actually, where's Volk? Oh, well, he's already on there, so I'm just gonna use Volk. Alright. Now, there are going to be reinforcements to show up here. Eventually, it'll be a set of two soldiers, I believe, two or three times. So, let's look at the weapons we got. We have mostly swords and lances here, it appears. I don't see any axe users ex except for these two guys right here. Lances are good against swords and not bad against themselves. So, I think we're going to leave Boyd behind. Besides, he's already classed up anyway. And you definitely want to take Sorn with you. We'll leave Boyd and, uh, I guess Stefan behind, and we'll take the rest of the characters with us. Um, just so you know, Devin is the only character we can recruit on here. He's a Halberdier, by the way, which is an upgraded soldier. Um, to recruit him, what you need to do is talk to him with any of the kid characters, which means talk to him with either Soren, Rolf, Mist, and I believe Ileana, and there's another character, I believe, but, you know, surely you're using one of these three characters as well as I am. So, let's go ahead and change this around a little bit. Save. And let's fight. Actually, I just now changed my mind. I'm going to take Stefan with me and leave. Well, actually, no, I can't leave I back here because we have to seize the throne, so never mind. I take that back. Uh. The enemy reinforcements that are that show up here are all Lance users, so I'm going to go ahead and take Stefan with me. I'll just leave Boyd. He'll just be the only person back here. That's fine with me. Put Leith right here. Oscar right here. Sword right here. Ike right here. Mist right here, and we're going to go ahead and use Ward on, a, I guess, Ike. It doesn't matter which. I'm just using it to get more experience. I know there's no mages anywhere really that close to me. And that also got me a weapon level up to B, so that's good. And we'll just stick Volk right there. And we'll just put Void right there. Yeah, critical on the first strike. Way to go, Stefan. 
since he didn't actually battle last part because he was so far away from anything, so we just recruited him. We didn't actually let him do any fighting that one. I was kind of hoping Leith wouldn't double that guy so Rolf could get a hit in on him, but oh well. Alright. Oh well, we can hit this guy with Rolf. Alrighty. Say your prayers. Oh, come on, Rolf. You could have critical at least once there. Uh, let me go ahead and show off uh, Stefan's attack animations really quickly here. Because it looks pretty dang cool. I'll go ahead and leave this animation on for the uh, remainder of this level. Individual. Alright, there we go. And before Leith takes off, let's go ahead and heal her pretty quickly. Just for the heck of it. Alrighty. Put Leith right there. I know that guy's a fire mage, but... Oh, wait, no. This guy up here is a fire mage, but he's really nothing to worry about. Honestly, we could probably be taking on Class 2 units with no problem at this point, but other than bosses, you're not going to see that many Class 2 units, and if you do see them at this point, they're either bosses, recruitable characters, or they are just barely over the uh, class change, and they're like level 1 or 2. And Boyd is back here. Alright, save him there. We got this axe user, and that mage will probably come down and try to get Oscar or Leith if he can reach him. I don't actually know if he can. I guess not, because he didn't go after us. Well, that's not a problem with me. Okay, please try to get a critical this time, Rolf. You got a 45% chance, man. Come on. Rolf. So disappointed in you right now. Anybody need healing up here? No, didn't think so. Let's go ahead and use Ward on Volk, even though there's no reason to. I guess if he gets attacked by a mage, he might be a little bit safer now. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. I can send Soren out on the front lines in this case, because the only other person that's going to get me is that mage up there, and I can almost guarantee he's going to do little damage or none, if he even hits me. Alright, no problems. And we got Gamble, which uh, I believe I've already shown that skill off and the problems with using it. And let's go ahead and just finish this guy off. And level up. Alright, that was pretty good. Would have liked defense or resistance, but hey, you can't always get everything, so I will take that. That was a pretty good level up overall. And this guy's going to attack me. Something to note about Soul is you can still get it even if it's a ranged attack. Here's Soul right here. Now watch Oscar's HP. See, it went back up. Good job, Oscar. Proud of you, man. Ward on Rolf. For XP, of course. And she levels up good. I was hoping that would happen. Eh, would have liked magic, but hey, I'll take speed. That's always good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Yes, I realize I could have used Sorn to heal Leith or something like that. And I probably will. Just for the heck of it. Uh, what do I want to do now? I think I'm going to leave Oscar where he is and just wait for everybody else to catch up. Because this corner right here is a little bit tricky on the maneuvering. you got to do it quick because the thief's going to show up and start stealing the treasure chests. But, you know, 
you still need to take your time enough to where you're not sending a unit out into Death Valley, essentially. Okay, we got lance users, mostly, so I'd like axes, but since I don't have axes, I guess we're gonna go with Stefan and Oscar. Killer lance. And Iron Blade. And we'll put Soren behind him. And Rolf behind him. And let's leave Gage at three. Ugh, great. So it's about out, so there's no point wasting time on that. A little bit of luck would be great right here with a critical. That's not a critical. That's not a critical either. I'm having very good luck with the killer items today. Well, now you can see off the actual attack animations look. I can't believe you let yourself get hit by that. You should be ashamed. I'm kind of hoping he pulls off an Aster or a Critical. That'd be really cool to see. But no love so far, apparently. Let's use Wall Spell. ahead and open up this door. Let Stefan take on whoever's inside. Because there will be play or not players, there will be enemy units hidden inside here. Yeah, here's a level one halberdier, so there are classed up units. But I'm not worried about him really. Move Ike forward without letting him get any of the kills because there's no point in doing that. Kill this guy with Soren. I'm not worried about any of the units that are gonna attack him because it's either gonna be other mages that won't do any damage, or knights, which will be extremely weak to him. The swordsman can probably reach Sorn, but I really don't care if he does. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Oh no, she actually doesn't need healing. Oh well, we'll use ward on her. Just for the heck of it. This is probably a pretty good level to have ward on several people, because as you've already noticed, it's got a lot more mages than some of the previous levels that we've been seeing so far that haven't really had that many. And there's also a sniper right there, but I'm not worried about him. You might be worried about snipers, especially if you play out of the Fire Emblem games, because snipers are known for having a decent critical percentage, and also archers in general are known for having good accuracy, but honestly, if you've got really good units leveled up, then I wouldn't worry about them. I mean, Rolf could have probably taken on that sniper, even though he's not a sniper yet and done, done just fine. Because, you know, by general rule, if you compare your stats to an enemy CPU that's the same level, your stats are generally going to be much better than they are. Alright, come on, Stefan. Show them what you got. Oh, Really? Yeah, you tell them who's boss. Nobody gets a critical on you. You a freaking killer lance. I should have paid attention to what that weapon was. I didn't think it was a killer lance. And we got a chest key, and a Mirbanon's gonna attack us. Hopefully he won't kill us, I don't think he will, but... Could be wrong. Nope. No love for the Mirbanon. Wow, we really need to heal him up. Fortunately, there's no enemies near him now. And there are those soldier reinforcements that I talked about, so they show up on turn 7. Uh, do either of these guys have a... No, they do not. I was checking for range, so I can kill the guy with the ranged weapon first. But, that does not seem to be a problem. So, Boyd, you've done your job down there. Let's see... Play a little bit of strategic here. There we go. Uh, he will not fix it, men will. There we go. Get Stefan back up to scratch here. Stif I want Stefan to continue uh, moving forward, so what we're going to do is actually give Ike the chest key and have him go back for that stuff. Because even if he can't carry it, it'll just go to the convoy, so that's not that big a deal. Alright, we can take care of that guy. No problem. And we'll do that. Ready for units with no resistance at all. Even the boss, I think, could probably be taken out by Sorn in just a few hits, probably. And I'll check that in a second here.
Defense, nice. Very good. Oh, uh, wow. He actually doesn't have good defense or resistance for a general, which is a classed up knight. You think he'd have a little bit better on the stats, but mm, apparently not. And that guy's got a long sword, but it's only going to do four damage even, hit, even if it hits me. Let's try to go for a crit, though. Oh, well, soul's nice. I'll take soul. And he didn't get me, so... See ya. Very nice. And level up. HP. Break that 40 barrier. Yeah! Alright, Oscar. That's what I like to see. And I guess we'll guard Rolf a little bit. As best we can, anyway. Uh, we're not going to use Volk, because we need him to go down here to get the other chests. Because Ike has the chest key for those two up there. And I should have equipped the... J oh, wait, no, I couldn't have equipped the Javelin, because I attacked him with the Killer Lance. Never mind. And yeah, he went for Rolf. He'll probably hit him. Oh, wow, he actually missed. Hmm. And yeah, I knew that guy would try to attack, because that's the only thing he could have done. And now he's dead. Silly soldiers and their terrible stats. And more reinforcements. As I expected. Steel Lance, Iron Lance. We're gonna go for this guy again. I just go for the guy with the Steel Lance or a ranged weapon as a general rule. Just go for the highest ranked weapon and see if you can get him before he can get a hit on you. Uh, we'll go ahead and put Leith over here even though she can't really do much right now. Good, and put Ike over there. We'll use Ward on Stefan, because his resistance is okay, but it's not great. For a Swordmaster, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Obviously, we want Soren to take this guy out, because Armored Knight, hello! And we're actually doing okay on turn length, I believe. I don't think that thief's going anywhere. The thief that will show up. I'll show you where he shows up and once we're done with this part right here. He'll show up uh, right here. He'll show up in this little area. He'll go up here immediately and try to get the chests that are hidden here. But I'm not worried about him right this moment. Uh, there is a guy with a men's staff over there. You can probably have Volk steal that, so I'll try to do that before I get rid of him. Are we going to kill him? No. We'll steal from him and then kill him. And we get rid of this guy. Yeah! Now you get a critical Rolf. Jeez. And I'm gonna have Soren recruit uh, Dead Van because I think it'd be safer than if uh, somebody else tried to do it. Hey, what's Dead Van's range? Uh, okay, yeah, I'll be fine if I put Stefan right there. And prepare for a one-hit KO. Come on, get an Aster just for the heck of it. Aw. Oh well. Jeez, that sword is taller than the entire mage was. Whatever. It's not important. I'd really love to get rid of this guy. Even though I'm taking the 10 damage, I'm going to go for it. Of course, he might miss, but I doubt it. Oh, wow, he actually did. Cool. Just take out the mages. Now, in theory, I, or not in theory, theoretically, I should have just, you know, let Rolf take care of those guys. But, oh well. Too little too late. And, yeah, I knew that guy was going to attack. He missed, and Boyd kills him. He can almost one-shot that guy. If he gets another strength upgrade in the next level up, he probably would be able to one-shot them. And there that thief goes, along with an archer and a soldier, but I'm not concerned about them, really. And in this chest we have a silver lance. Very nice. I can't use that, though, so we're going to be sending that to the convoy. Go ahead and heal up Oscar. Yeah, there's your critical. Good job, Rolf. He's getting really close to that level up. I'd love for him to kill the boss, because if he could get a class up at the end, that'd be really, really cool. I don't think Soren can uh, reach him to recruit him. Quite. I don't know if he attacks or not. That's the problem. Uh, we'll deal with that in a minute. He's still amend. 
Yeah, whenever you steal an item, you will get experience for stealing it. Alright. We'll have enough time, don't worry. The thief has to waste a turn opening that door, so... Oh, he can't even reach the door this turn. Okay, cool. We got plenty of time, then. In this chest, we have... an Asher icon. That increases luck. That will most likely be going to Stefan. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Very nice. Not that he was a hard target, but still, you know. Alright, there we go. Sorm will have to waste a turn talking to this guy, but oh well. And depending on who you use to talk to him, it's a little bit of a different conversation. Soren kind of, you know, does his usual I don't care thing. Rolf will usually cry, I th or think. I think he cries. He's like something like, I don't want to be fighting him. But regardless, he will not fight the children. And the reason he was in prison was for looking at the flowers. Yeah, I know. Really stupid reason. And he just accepts it. Oh, cool, we can still attack. Okay, uh, well, let's get rid of this guy then. I could have gotten rid of the archer, but I think I want Dead Ben to try to kill the archer. Or the thief, if he can. Thieves had good, have really good speed, so I don't know if Dead Ben's going to be able to double him. Um, Oscar, how far can you reach? Uh, he can get the thief with a ranged attack, so let's do that. Yeah! Usually I can't kill that thief before he opens the door. I'm glad I got him. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and show off his animation. This is the only time you're going to see me attack with him, so... Might as well see it, you know. He comes equipped with a heavy spear, which is uh, really good against generals and knights. And I believe also it lowers your speed by a little bit, so... Use it carefully. Okay, let's go ahead and have him open the door. I don't think Leaf has a chest key by any chance. No, I didn't think so. Uh, who we've not moved. Boyd and Leaf. Uh, well, they can't do anything right now, so we're just gonna end the turn. That, uh, mage, well, not mage, that, uh, whatchamacallit, the healer, he's not going anywhere. He doesn't move even if he gets attacked. I don't know why, but he doesn't. I, I really don't know. It's, he's very strange. Alright, Leaf is transformed. Now let's go ahead and get Ike ready to, uh, seize the throne here. Kill this guy. And start opening these chests. This one over here has a full guard. What a full guard does is it will guard, um, or it will get rid of any bonus damage that a weapon will do. For example, you know how fire does bonus damage to cat and tiger legus? If Leith was wearing that, it would remove that. But I prefer to keep the Bjork guard on her, so. That's just my opinion. Whatever you want to do. I got an idea. Let's kill this guy. Because I don't like him. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the animations now. I don't know if you guys really care about him or not. I just figured I'd, you know, go ahead and show it. Because the Swordmaster animations are always really cool. And the Soldier animations in our, the sequel to this game, Radiant Dawn, are pretty cool too. But for now, let's just take out this Myrmidon, and I'm not worried about the Archer over there at all. I think one of these two guys has a chest key. We're going to find out here in a second. Does this guy have a chest key? Yes, he does. So really, you only need Volk to open two of the chests, so that's, that's pretty nice. Can by any chance, could we actually do damage to this guy? We sure enough can. Alright, cool. Uh, let's just use Rolf's bow. Kima... Kima Arsi, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce that name. And we'll have Mist behind him healing Rolf, so... We won't have to worry about Rolf dying on us. Boyd's the only one that hasn't moved. You'll notice reinforcements aren't showing up anymore. 
that guy will get a little bit of a bonus from the siege area, but not that big of a deal, so we'll just continually let Rolf beat him up. Whoa! Wow, Rolf, crazy fool. Alright. One more time in case by some random chance he misses. I don't think he will, but I'm pretty sure he had 100% accuracy. Magic, alright, good. That's the main thing I want to see for Mist is magic. I would like HP, but magic's fine. Yep, no chance of missing. Alright, cool. Get him off. Yeah! See you later, throwaway boss. And guess what? Rolf just classed up. Because he is awesome. Rolf is going to be virtually unkillable from now on. Not because um, he'll get an amazingly high defense, but because nobody will be able to hit him anymore. Very rarely will anybody hit him, except for like maybe a Myrmidon who have pretty good accuracy. But you're never going to see any brigands or anything like that. You're never going to see him hit Rolf anymore. Alright. Sniper. And you also get a spear from defeating that boss. We're just going to send that to the convoy. And right now what we're going to do is, since all the uh, enemies are gone now, except for this one that I'm about to kill right here, just be a show-off, Oscar. You know you want to. Alrighty there. Just chest key. Anybody have damage on him yet? Or now, anyway? Let's go ahead and open this up to get... A Draco Shield, that'll raise defense. That'll be most likely going to Rolf. I believe the only person that is lacking in HP is Dead Vance, so we'll go ahead and let him uh, get healed by Miss next turn. Yeah, once you class up, you've already noticed how... Uh, I didn't explain this already, but you've noticed how whenever a character levels up and they get HP, that you don't automatically get that point of HP. Like, let's say Dead Vance leveled up and he got his HP increased to 37, it would still say 36 out of 37. But when you class up, it gives you all your HP back, even if you've only got like five or you know six HP, something like that. And we get a Physic, which is a ranged healing staff, which is very very nice to have, especially this early on, and especially for the next chapter. And we also get a Bolting, which is a ranged thunder spell. And I believe that is it. I could have Soren run over there and try to heal Mist in time, but... Well, actually, let's go ahead and do it. Just because, you know, what the heck. This is where the boots just help Soren get a little bit of experience for what little it was worth. Just a leaven experience, but hey, there's no point letting it go to waste, right? And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and clear the map. Yeah, I know, that was it. It really isn't that bad of a map. The only part that can be even remotely problematic is that one turn um, where you open up the first door. Stay away from you, filthy fat man. <laughs> if you're wondering what happened right there, Oliver actually attacked him with light magic. Herons have very good resistance, though. So, strangely enough, it's not that big a deal. Jeez, that's what we get for trying to help. Of course, what do you expect? He's probably upset. I mean, one of his supposedly closest allies just sold him to some idiot. Where's the Apostle? I'm going to speak with the Apostle. Where is she? She's in the garden having a pleasant conversation with Prince Lithia. Why is everybody always in the garden? Whatever. Oh, please, like, Ike follows the rules? Sure. I love how, like, uh, Sanaki was like, How dare you approach me? And, like, Alencia's a noble, too, but she's like, Hey, what's up? Doesn't even care. Of course, you know, she's not raised in the noble-ish way, so... But still, I always find it really funny. So now we talk about the Serenus Massacre and why there are so few of them, I believe.
So, this all begins with the Serenus thing about the assassination of the previous apostle. 20 years ago, one year after the Declaration of Emancipation, which is the Lagoose Freedom, was made. The leader at the time was... Misa, ha? I don't know. She was adored by the public more than any apostle before or since. When she was assassinated, everybody was wrecked with grief. Then Young despaired, and then a rumor circulated that the assassination, assassination was the work of Serenus, who would never hurt a fly, which makes no sense at all. And the rumor spread through the capital. One night, everybody got really mad, they grew violent, they got to the edge of Serenus Forest, and set it on fire. Crowd raged for three nights, and in the end, pretty much all the herons were gone. And it was completely false. It was not the work of Serenus. See, they have no fighting skills, so... Pretty much the Serenus are the last people possible to do that, so... You actually find out in the sequel who assassinates the uh, previous Ben Young Apostle. I don't know if that explains it here. So, she wants us to find him, meet with him, and speak with him. Besides, we gotta take down Oliver anyway. He, he actually gets away, so... He's not arrested or anything like that. So, uh, next time on Let's Play, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, we're gonna be tackling on, uh, taking on Chapter 17. This is a special chapter, because it's multiple parts within a chapter, but I'll be explaining that later on. So, this is Daybreak, so this will be the final level where Ike is his Ranger class. See you guys later.